thanks for tuning into the Rolling Hot Five. I'm Brie Rhodes along with Dana Davis, and we have some really great music for you this week. First off, we're going to talk a bit about Royce Johns, and wow, what an amazing artist. Like, I really like him. He has a bit of a mix of like country with a little bit more, kind of more modern country, honestly. Not bro country, but he has that voice that kind of sounds like kind of yeah. like Tim McGraw almost, I think yeah, I would, very I would deep say. Voice. And based on his like looks, like I like I mean I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, it burns us all the time, honestly. But I was not expecting his deep voice. I really wasn't. I was like kinda of I was like yeah. shocked. I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like what did you like about him, Dana? I liked it because I don't like country music, but I actually really like him. I don't know, there's something about the sound of his songs that I just I like even though it's country. I don't know why, but I mean it's really cool. We have up next Demir Demirkin, and I really like this album just because it gives me more of a like a heavy metal alternative rock vibe. Um, I like that kind of music, so I was really excited when we got this in the studio. And the cover art is pretty cool, actually. I like it. It's like I don't know. It reminds me of an egg wrapped in like barbed wire. It's like really heavy and like. I don't know. I like it. Yeah. What did you do? You like? I I kind of like that it brings me back to kind of like I think like you said like kind of middle school. Yeah, high middle school. school era like the alternative like. And ooh. at the same time, I don't know. It kind of almost reminds me of Three Days Grace in a way yeah. like that kind of sound that they have that makes them a little different but still kind of I don't know. Kind of has yeah. that like light metal. I would yeah. Say. Yeah. Next up we have Joe Denenzen and Sephirius, and wow, they're. They're strange, but a good strange. We say strange with a good kind of accent yes. here. Um, just because like the, the cover really threw me through a loop. I was like, I don't even know what to expect with this, but they're kind of like a rock alternity kind of group. Like, I know alternity isn't a word, but they have some really interesting songs and a really good vibe, really good rhythm. And I think it all go blends together really well, which yeah. is really one of my favorite things is when a group has really good sound, really good vocals, and it actually sounds really good. Yeah, I was I was not expecting the sound that came from the cover album. Like Bree said, we shouldn't judge a book or a CD by its cover or album, but I really liked what I heard when I played this. And now we have Elise Legro, and she's more of like a pop, kind of chill um, artist, and um, I really like her. We actually had her in the studio last semester, so a lot of us already were like, Yes, we have her back in the studio again, so I'm really excited to play her um, during my show. And I don't know, I just really like her voice. I don't really like a lot of female voices, mm -hmm. but her voice is very like chill. And she was very popular yes. with our DJs last semester. People really liked her sound, mm -hmm. really liked kind of what she had going. And I mean, and I think she rocks it too, so I'm really looking forward yeah. to what she has to offer for our DJs this yeah. semester. And last but not least, we have The Crowning. and. I at first didn't know what to make of this. Like I think that's kind of like the common theme, the underlying theme with a lot of our artists this yeah. time is um, interesting album art that is different than what we've had in the past. Yeah. At first I thought this was a chicken claw. It is not a chicken <laughs> claw. I don't know what it is, but they're kind of more of like a rocky band. Um, but they're more in the other kind of subgenre that we have. That's like not really rock. We're not really alternative. They're like in the middle there. It really is, but I'm really expecting a lot, and I think our DJs are really going to like it this yeah. week. But that is all that we have for this time. Tune in next week to the Rolling Hot Five for more of our DJs. For more of our DJs, and you can also check us out every Tuesday and Friday at nine and two for our radio show, The Rolling Hot Five, on WMCO. And make sure to check us out on OrbitMediaOnline.com under the music tab, and we would love to hear from you. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll make sure to see you next week.